Hello and welcome to Angular Meteor, uh, a package, a Meteor package that helps you combine Angular into uh, the Meteor uh, framework. So that's our website, angularjs.meteor.org, and you can also look at, the, of course, at the GitHub uh, repository, which is totally open source. Um, and you have a tutorial here that takes, walks you through everything you want to know about and the most common um, scenarios and we try to add every every few days add another scenario so the first thing you want to do is to bootstrap you want to just first of all install um, install Medio and then um, start a new app so the only thing you need to do to install Meteor is just copy and paste this CURL um, command and go to your command line, copy and paste it and install Meteor. While it's, while it's installing, it's also good to know, of course, the Meteor.com website, which has uh, all the great information about Meteor and uh, how to install it and also a nice uh, tutorial and also of course the AngularJS website which has also everything you want to know about AngularJS uh, it has a very nice tutorial, tutorial and we'll try to merge everything that we can into our own tutorial to show you how to do stuff so let's go back to the command line Great, now that we installed Meteor, we can start our new app. So let's navigate to where we want to start it from. And then let's create it with the Meteor create um, command. And let's call it socially. Let's navigate into the new um, folder and start our app with the Meteor command. Uh, Meteor creates like a very, very simple example app. We're just going to show how it runs and then we're going to delete the files and start from scratch. So it runs on uh, localhost 3000. Let's navigate there. You can see we have an app, a very simple app that updates clicks on uh, on on your local machine. You can also open it in another browser and see the current clicks on the current client, on the specific client. Now let's go back and uh, let's open the new project. And you can see uh, Meteor uh, created three files for us, a social, like socially uh, HTML file, a JavaScript file, and CSS file. We're not going to use those, we're just going to delete them. And we're going to start from scratch. You can see that also Meteor creates a, a dot .meteor um, a dot .meteor folder, we, we will show you later how how to use it. So let's create a simple index.html file. The only thing we need to do is to place a body tag because uh, Meteor creates the the default uh, HTML file uh, automatically. So we don't need to include the HTML tags or the head tags. Uh, if you want to add stuff to the head or to the body, you can use those tags and Meteor aggregates all the content 
uh, into a single uh, a single file that served into serves uh, and serve it to the client. So let's just write hello world, and our server is already running, so we can just we don't need to refresh. We can go back to our browser, and can, we can see that it works the same in the other browser. let's go back and we want to add uh, angular into it so but right now we don't have angular we just use plain meter so to add angular we can go back to the command line stop the server and use meteor add command which adds uh, meteor packages into our uh, current project and add the origo angular uh, package that takes care of adding angular into our project And that is slow, let's try it again. Okay, now that we edited it, we can run our app again. Nothing has changed. And now, let's go back to the code and write a simple AngularJS JS, um, statement. So, the only difference we have between regular uh, plain AngularJS is that instead of using curly braces, uh, we need to use uh, square brackets. So let's just try a simple statement. Let's just print that 1 plus 1 equals 1 plus 1 and see this, if the state, statement works. This, everything that happens inside here is a JavaScript statement, so uh, it's supposed to run and print the number 2. So the app is running, let's go into our uh, into our browser and then we can see that we have hello world 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 means that uh, Angular is running on our client and interprets the command. You can also see the same thing in the in the other browser. So now we have Angular on our client. 